a major milestone at North Carolina A&T today. Their first home game in nearly two years, but fans could not attend with just a ticket. They also had to have in hand proof of a COVID vaccination or a negative test result within the last 72 hours. The university says it's taking the pandemic seriously. And as WFMY News 2's Avery Powell explains, students are taking it in stride. Aggie pride in full force today. North Carolina A&T's first home football game in nearly two years, facing off against North Carolina Central University. We are so it's excited. Such a good time. It's been like 700 plus days since Truly. we've been in the stadium, and it's so exciting to see everybody out here. Energy is up. The sun is out. It's As you can so see, the energy nice is very, out. very much up. Last year's season was canceled due to the pandemic, so fans were lined up and ready at Truist Stadium Saturday. It is exhilarating and refreshing um, just to come back and welcome all the alumni, the students, the fans, the supporters. Um, back to Truist Stadium after almost two years. It is a beautiful, glorious day, like it was made for this day. It was, it was, it's wonderful. With this season comes new COVID-19 protocols. Fans must go to one of the verification stations on campus and either show proof of vaccination or a negative PCR COVID test within 72 hours. Rapid tests are not accepted. They then get a wristband to enter the stadium. It was very efficient. Yeah, they had a lot around campus, so we just walked by one and they're like, do you need to check in? We're like, oh yeah, so. This was the first run. Um, so far, so good from what I've seen, what I have observed. Um, and it, it seems like it was great. We had a great communication plan, getting the information out um, to everyone as they prepare um, to enter into the game zones. NCANT reported 14 positive COVID-19 cases among students between September 17th and 23rd, 72 this month so far. The school also requires masks indoors. They are not required outdoors like at the football game, but they are recommended. For on-campus students or those who take at least one in-person class, COVID-19 vaccination or regular testing is required. Well, I feel like we're doing good, you know, I'm a vaccinated kind of girl. So. It's free, y'all. It's free. It's, it's free. free. Yeah, it's it? free and it's better for everybody. Like, yes. go ahead and get it. So while COVID may be changing how fans celebrate, one thing stays the same. Aggie Pride! Aggie Pride! Aggie Pride! Aggie Pride. Aggie Pride. In Greensboro, yeah. Aggie Pride. Aggie Pride. Avery Powell, WFMY News 2.